Welcome back to this week's edition of Carolina Kart Scene for racing on September 22nd and 23rd. Got a lot of different racetracks that are racing against North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. We'll talk about the Superman 200 lap race at Foothills and a lot of other action. Uh, as always, thanks for everybody for liking and subscribing the videos. And please, if you get a chance, uh, hit that like button or subscribe button and help the channel continue to grow. And let's get to it. Also racing on September 23rd is Cool Ridge Speedway in Ramshore, North Carolina. They'll be racing the Saturday Night Special Series, the Ace Series. This will be race number five for them. Um, they've had a couple of different rainouts, but this series and this track always put on a really good show and really fast event. They've got a lot of different classes, uh, Clone 375, Clone 425. They also have the Ace uh, different ones that will be racing for that particular uh, series. So the, check out Bob's Four Cycle Forum and also uh, their Facebook page for lineups and different items to go out. Uh, so de again, definitely a great track and I've posted some videos from this racetrack before. Uh, so definitely get out and go watch them. Next up running North Carolina is Margaretsville Speedway on September 23rd. They'll be putting on the WKA National Dirt Series. Uh, this looks like it be a Maxxis Tire event for this particular one. Gates open up on Friday for parking from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. And then Saturday, gates open at 8 a.m. with prices start at 11 a.m. Uh, this is a great little track. I've posted videos about this track before, and they have a lot of good money that's on the line. A couple of them are guaranteed, and a couple of them are for cart minimums. Uh, junior classes, future stars, clone heavy, uh, semi-pro, national, all kind of different classes. So definitely check out their Facebook page for any updates, and hopefully you get out and race with them. First up is Tri-County Cartway in Kenley, North Carolina. They'll be putting on race number six of their Backyard Series on September 23rd. Uh, this is a great racetrack. It always puts on a great show and a great surface that they have there. Not 100% sure about the times that they're opening. Usually they open real early in the day, so it gets in the show and gets everybody in and out there in a good bit of time. And also not 100% sure this is going to be a Reaper Tire event or an Open Tire event. Uh, so definitely check out their Facebook page for any updates they have during the week and also for parking. So hopefully you can get out there and race with them or come out there and watch. Next up is New Beginning Speedway in Dobson, North Carolina. This is a racetrack I talked about a couple of weeks ago just north of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. They have new ownership going on with this track. On their Facebook page, they've updated a lot of work they've been doing to the track as far as uh, track safety, uh, different erosion issues they've had, electrical safety. So they put in a lot of work for the track. And on September 23rd, they'll be racing uh, gates open at 10 a.m. with God's Garage at 12 p.m. And then later on in the day, they're going to have mower racing a little bit later at 5 p.m. Uh, so hopefully they'll have a great show and put on a fantastic event. First up running in South Carolina is the Superman 2 race that is being put on by David Edelwine at Foothills Raceway. Very unique race that they're going to have. They're going to have a 200 lap race for the Superman 390. Uh, what happens is, is that you'll go buy a Predator motor, still in a box, do not open it, do not touch it, mess with it or anything like that. Bring it to the track and it's going to go into a big pile and then they will draw out a numbers and you will run that particular motor that night. So the only thing that you can do to it is adjust a governor and put on a weenie pipe and go with it. Uh, this is going to be very interesting that the 100 lap uh, break, they're going to stop, refuel, and then go for the next 100 laps. So it's going to be a really interesting night. They're also, in addition to the first place is 1250, second is 550 on so forth down the line guaranteed. Uh, a lot of different classes going to be showing up on this one so definitely something to check out uh junior one two and three clone classes champ classes junior sportsmen a lot of different ones going on the particular day gates open at 10 a.m with prices start at 1 p.m i will be at this race uh so hopefully I'll be able to take some videos and show this race a little bit later in the week uh so definitely something to check out something to go watch 
Next up and running in South Carolina is 178 Speedway in Pelion, South Carolina. They'll be running on September 23rd with gates open at 3 p.m. Practice start at 5 p.m. Uh, they've got a lot of different classes they're going to have on the line. They're going to have all pro clone, $1,000 to win for that particular race, 25 laps. Clone medium, $350, also $300 to win. So a lot of great money on the line. Uh, they also have junior classes, juice box, and also they will run champs if at least four champ carts will show up. So I'm this is one of those racetracks I keep saying I want to go to, uh, but hopefully one day I will make it out there. So definitely a great little track to get out to, and hopefully you'll be able to run with them. Also running on Friday, September 22nd is going to be Warrior Creek Speedway in Gray Court, South Carolina. Gates open up at 5 with racing starting at 7.30. Uh, they're not a lot of information on what classes they're going to be running. I saw the posting by New Outback Speedway that Warrior Creek was going to be running. So definitely check out their Facebook page for any updates on any different classes that you have. Uh, so definitely get out and check them out. Next up running in South Carolina on September 23rd is Low Country Cartway in Anor, South Carolina. I mentioned a few weeks ago that Lake City Speedway and Low Country Cartway is putting on a series going back and forth between the two tracks. The first race was ra rained out in Lake City, and so this is going to be the first race for Low Country Cartway on September 23rd. This is a Reaper Tire event for this particular series as they go back and forth uh, between the two. So I haven't had a lot of information on when getting gates open uh, but they're according to their older Facebook page when they announced the series they do have a lot of great classes they have predator to car heavy uh, they also have junior classes red plates powder puff a run what you brung class also in the mix so definitely something to check out uh, again check out their Facebook page later in the week for any updates on times and different things that are going to go on at the racetrack First race track I want to talk about in Georgia is Dogwood Speedway in Chatsworth, Georgia. Uh, they had a rain out a couple of weeks ago, and they last weekend actually, and they are going to be running on the 23rd where they're point seventh point race of their series uh, they normally will have gates open up at 4 p.m prices start at 6 p.m but double check on their facebook page for any times and announcements they have and so definitely hopefully you can get down here and race with them or watch the different racing that's going on next up running in georgia is high rev speedway in nashville georgia uh, gates opening up at 12 p.m. with practices start at 3 p.m. Uh, a lot of different classes they do have on the line. Junior classes, rookie red plates, sumo, uh, heavy class, stock light and medium, and also a run what you brung class. Uh, so a lot of great action at the track. So hopefully you'll get out and race with them or watch with them.